Read Translate video. My name is Maurizio Caporelli, and for those of you who know me, I have about 32 years of experience here at Translate, and overall, about 34 years of pet printing experience. What I'd like to share with you today is the proper procedure for ink preparation and ink mixing. So what I have here is a single component ink, PG type. I also have a two component ink, B type, and I have a optional ink, P type. So what makes a single component? You never add hardener. What makes it a two component? You always have to have hardener. And what makes it optional? You could use hardener or not use hardener in this ink. I'm gonna grab the B type ink, which is the two component ink, and I'm gonna quickly mix it through here. And from my other videos, you will know that I've done this from time to time, to where you prepare the ink can that you're gonna use all the time like this. Always mix the binder and the pigment back together to make sure that you bring the ratio of the ink can back to one to one. All the solvents, all the binder and pigment all together. I'm gonna go ahead and use the scale. Zero out my cup. Here we go. And let's see, maybe we need to add about 60 grams. I always try to pour the ink out of the can from where there's no information in case I get ink down there. So we have 60 grams, zero out my cup, and then I add the hardener. Always add the hardener first before all your other solvents, no matter what you're going to do. So now I zero it out, 60 grams, 4 to 1 ratio on the B type ink, so that's 15 grams. Here it is, 15 grams. Now that I add the hardener and the ink together, like I said, one vehicle at a time. I mix it in real good. And we let the ink sit for about 15 to 30 seconds. We allow the, bind, uh, the binder inside the ink and the hardener to start the chemical reaction before I add the thinner and just viscosity or any other additives I want to put in. And remember, always add one additive now I will put it on here and scale, zero that out, and through my experience I know that I need about 10 grams of the video thinner in order to get the transfer. So now I added my next vehicle, 10 grams, which is the thinner, and that's all I need for this ink recipe in order to work for me at this time. I don't need any flowing agent, I don't need any retarder. Now, I add it one vehicle at a time and the hardener. That's pretty much what I wanted to remind you or show you that uh, it's very important to do that. Thank you very much for joining us today.